How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back with another video. So, of course, another week of NFL football is now upon us as we're halfway through the season. So now we're the second half of the football season, NFL season. The nitty gritty as the race to the playoffs is officially on. We're now in the sprint to the finish. We're getting ready for the sprint to the finish in a couple weeks as we're starting to slowly wrap up all the bye weeks. But this week, we got more NFL football this week for week 10. So last week for the NFL, in my picks, I went 9-5. and five. So my overall record this year goes to 87 and 47. But yeah, let's try and have another solid week this week. So let's get going. So our first game this week is a Thursday night game. A battle for AFC South Supremacy. Indianapolis Colts, Tennessee Titans playing in Tennessee. Tennessee's been off to a bit of a rocky start. They got back on, they got back at it last week by beating the Bears. And of course, the Colts coming off a loss to the Ravens. So this is going to be a game that could decide who could be taking the AFC South this year. This game, um, I feel like Tennessee's got a lot more there than Indianapolis. Indianapolis is a really good defense, but I think Tennessee is better overall. I'm going to take the Titans at home in this one. I think Indianapolis and Tennessee split. Give me Tennessee in this one. Now let's get to the Sunday games. First Sunday game we got, we have the Houston Texans and the Cleveland Browns playing in Cleveland. Cleveland just had a couple rough weeks. They're coming off the bye. I'm going to take the Browns at home. Give me Cleveland at home against the Texans. Give me Cleveland. And next game. This next game, we have ourselves a two-for-one game. This is a tank bowl and an injury bowl. So this game, we have the Washington No-Skins and the Detroit Lions playing in Detroit at Ford Field. Washington 0-3 on the road. Detroit 0-3 at home. Somebody's going to break that winless streak. Who will the football gods smile on the most? Tune in this Sunday to find out. But yeah, I'm going to take the Lions in this game. There's no excuse why the Lions shouldn't win this game. So yeah, give me Detroit over Washington in this one. And plus, we're not sure who Washington's starting QB is going to be because there's questions if Kyle Allen's going to be a starter, if it's going to be Alex Smith or Dwayne Haskins again because it's been a carousel there. So I think the safe bet here would to go would be to go with Detroit. So give me the Lions in that one. Next game, we have, oh, Lord, Jacksonville Jaguars, Green Bay Packers playing in Green Bay. Oh, Jacksonville. Last week, you suffered a heartbreaking loss to Houston. This week, you get consolation prize. You get to go up to the frozen hell known as Green Bay. And you're not just getting any Green Bay team. You're getting pissed off Aaron Rodgers. So, yeah, for this game, yeah, give me the Packers in this one. I'll take Green Bay. Next game, even though the Eagles lead the NFC East, Nobody in the NFC East deserves to make the playoffs. And like I've said, but like I've mentioned a couple weeks before, any matchup, any match, any division matchups taking place in the NFC East are automatically subject to tank bowl. So bring in the tank division. So for this tank bowl, we have the rivalry of Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants playing at MetLife. Of course, the Eagles have won eight straight meetings against the Giants. I say the winning streak continues. I'm going to say the Eagles beat the Giants again, and the winning streak goes to nine straight. Give me the Eagles over the Giants in this one. Next game, we have the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers playing in Pittsburgh. Of course, for this game... um. Pittsburgh, um, Pittsburgh's have been a lot of questions about how, how many of Pittsburgh's players will be able to go since they're still undefeated. You know, especially with Big Ben's that reportedly on the COVID list. I still think Pittsburgh has a lot more in the tank to win this game and stay undefeated. So I'm going to take the Steelers on the road. I'm going to take a gamble and take the Steelers at home in this one. Give me Pittsburgh. Next game, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers playing in Carolina. Of course, last week, Tampa Bay got flat out destroyed by the Saints. Like, that was like literally the worst game of Tom Brady's career. The worst loss Brady has ever suffered in his career. 
Like, no matter what Brady did, he had no answers for the Saints. And it was also the first time in Tom Brady's career that he was swept by a division rival. It never happened with him in the AFC East with New England. But it now happens with him and the Buccaneers. And it's against Drew Brees. Damn. But yeah, this game, I think Tom Brady's going to be big, big, gonna be big time pissed off. And he's going to have a massive chip on his shoulder. I'm going to take the Buccaneers to win this one on the road over Carolina. Give me Tampa Bay in this one. Next game. We have the Denver Broncos and the Las Vegas Raiders playing in Las Vegas. Of course, the Raiders are still in the wild card mix. They're like, they're doing really well this year. So yeah, this one, give me the Raiders in this one. I'll take Las Vegas at home. Next game, we have the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins playing in Miami. So far, Miami could Miami's starting to make a run for the playoffs now at five and three. And to a tongue of Iowa, he's been okay. Like he's been okay. He hasn't been good, but he hasn't been 100 percent terrible. And the Jets are now 0-9. Yeah. I think I have the Dolphins winning this game, and I have the Jets falling to 0-10. The Jets rode the 0-16 awaits. Next game, we have the Buffalo Bills and the Arizona Cardinals playing in Arizona. This is going to be a good matchup. This is going to be good. This is going to be a good game. Like, I think this game's going to be tough to call. It's a 50-50 game. You can make a solid argument for both. I'm going to go to Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo's just got a lot better defense than the Cardinals. I think the Bills are just better overall. Like, Kyle, no, like Kyler Murray's had a really solid season, but Buffalo's just been really good overall. I'm going to take the Bills that are on the road in this one. Give me Buffalo. It's a, It could go either way. Next game, we have a battle for NFC West supremacy in this very close NFC West division. Seattle Seahawks, Los Angeles Rams playing in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm going to take the Seahawks on the road in this one. I got Seattle over the Rams. I just don't know if the Rams have all the answers for a Russell Wilson's high offensive attack. So yeah, give me the Seahawks in that one. Next game, we have the San Francisco 49ers and the New Orleans Saints playing in New Orleans. Of course, last year in this game was a it was a really good game between the Saints and the Bucket the 49ers, a really high scoring game. This time, I think the Saints are gonna get this game. Give me the Saints in this one. Saints get payback for last year. Next game, we have our Sunday night game. We had the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots playing in Foxborough. Oh boy. The Patriots have just what completely lost this year. They barely got past the Jets last week, winning on a last second field goal. Yeah, this game, I think I think New England's just destined for mediocrity right now. They're just stuck in purgatory. But yeah, this one, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Ravens on the road in this one. Give me Baltimore on the road. I'll take the Ravens on the road in New against the Patriots. In our final game, a Monday night game. We have the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears playing in Chicago. I've debated about this one back and forth. But, you know, Kirk Cousins is still winless on Monday night games. And I think that streak continues. I'm going to take the Bears at home in this one. I'm not... I know a lot of people are saying Kirk Cousins can finally get his first win on Monday night. Not buying it. I'm taking the Bears at home. But, yeah. That's all. That's my picks for this week. So, yeah. That's all I got to say. Hope everyone has a great day and yeah, peace.